Well, listen, let's get into this. And uh, and that was a lot of fun. We're going to talk about your uh, the end to your run, looking at SummerSlam matches. It's 05. It's an interesting time for you, dude. And uh, we had watched the July 4th, 2005 Raw together. Remember we did that watch along and it was the whole... Hogan and Michaels. That was an entertaining episode, brother. It was entertaining, yeah. Uh, but uh, Hogan and Michaels defeated you and Carlito in the main event. Michaels turns on Hogan after the match, and so that sets up the big match here for SummerSlam. Hogan versus Michaels. Uh, there's a huge build for it. Uh, but here's what you're doing, okay? This is where we're going to have a lot of fun this week. The Raw, the week after the Angle Challenge return, here's what the Observer had to say. Next up, was they brought back the Kurt Angle Challenge, the Angle Challenge, trying to take advantage of the national publicity for lying teacher Matt Stryker. This was a pretty good segment as Angle looked at him. He said his name was Matt Martell from New York. Angle said he knew who he was. He was the teacher who lied about being sick and went on tour of Japan. He said he wrestled him already in Philadelphia, and when he was on that show, he said he was from Philadelphia. So Angle busted him for lying all over the place. Angle also said his name isn't even Martell, it's Matt Stryker. The most entertaining thing about this was after establishing this guy uh, as the teaching fraud, they tried to get him over as a face. Also, you could tell they expected a bigger reaction. Actually, when Angle paused, waiting for the reaction after he exposed him as the teacher who got caught, there was no reaction at all. Oh, shit. A Angle gave him a ton as they were trying to put this guy over. It was just so weird for Jim Ross to try to sell him as the face. And when the heels argued about what he did and, and made far more sense, it was just ridiculous. I can't say Stryker looked good, but it was booked great, and Stryker was good enough to not hurt it. He broke the ankle lock once. Right at the finish, he escaped the angle slam and gave Angle a low blow with just seconds left. Angle put on the ankle lock anyway and got the tap in 2 minutes, 59 seconds of the 3-minute time limit, or Angle would have lost. So we got a lot to break down here, Kurt. First off, Matt Stryker getting national attention for losing his job to become a wrestler and go on that tour. What did you think of that? Well, that's commitment, man. I mean, you know, to lose your job, your real-life job, over your dream job, um, you know what? He's committed. I, I have to give him credit for that. Um, you know, I don't know if he did the right thing. Um, I know this. He's a talented kid. I, I've seen him around. I've seen him perform. He's he's actually pretty good. Uh, but I don't know if losing his job, if, if he was able to gain more in professional wrestling than he did in his old job, then he did the right thing. But if, if he's not doing so well now, he might not have done the right thing. Hey, sense? man. Yeah, yeah, it does. Uh, for those that could were able to actually follow along. I'm kidding. No, but it, it's true. He went on and he's done some other things, right? He was in, you know, he, he did spend some time in Ring of Honor. Uh, and But he's also done commentary for other wrestling promotions. Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think I feel like I've seen him on the Major League Baseball Network. So, you know. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. The guy's got talent. So, uh, you know, maybe he's, he's, I'm sure he's made way more money than he ever would teaching. No, no, you're probably right. I just didn't know. I haven't followed his career, and I didn't know what he's done ever since that. But as long as he's been active and stay, keeping busy uh, having this career of pro wrestling and commentating, uh, yeah. as long as he's staying busy, then he made the right choice. Yeah, no, good for him. 